Hello and welcome to this learning path focused on the AWS Certified Solution Architect Professional Certification. My name is Stuart Scott and I'm the AWS Content Lead for Cloud Academy and I've created this learning path which is packed full of technical courses, hands-on labs and assessments to ensure you have a solid understanding across all the domains, the confidence to navigate the AWS environment and the required preparation needed to pass this difficult certification. The aim of the certification is to validate your knowledge across a number of different key areas, which have been defined by AWS as being able to design and deploy dynamic, scalable, highly available, fault tolerant and reliable applications on AWS, to select the appropriate AWS services to design and deploy an application based on given requirements, to be able to migrate complex multi-tier applications on AWS, to be able to design and deploy enterprise-wide scalable operations on AWS, and implement cost control strategies. As a means of demonstrating this knowledge, you will be tested across five different domains, with each domain contributing to a total percentage of your overall score. These domains will be broken down as follows. Domain one, design for organization complexity, which is 12.5%. Domain two, design for new solutions, which is 31%. Domain three, migration planning, which is 15%. Domain four, cost control, which is 12.5%. Domain five, continuous improvement for existing solutions, which is 29%. And each of these domains can be broken down into defined areas of knowledge. Domain one, design for organizational complexity. Now this domain is focused on how to build multiple accounts effectively across the AWS global infrastructure and how to create hybrid connectivity to your own data center, all while ensuring security concerns are met from an access level to network level perspective. Domain two, design for new solutions. This domain contains the largest percentage out of all of the domains. As a result, there is a wealth of information to absorb and interpret into designing solutions. It covers a huge range of services from compute, storage, network, databases, analytics, and more. Domain three, migration planning. As expected from the title, this domain is purely focused on migration. This looks at how you can migrate your existing on-premise solutions to AWS and the necessary steps required to do so while following best practices. Domain four, cost control. This domain focuses on cost and how to minimize your running costs in addition to being able to provide effective reporting and budgeting methods across multiple AWS accounts. Domain five, continuous improvement for existing solutions. This is the second highest percentage for any domain, which has a 29% weighting against your exam score. So additional emphasis on these elements should be given when studying. You will be assessed on how well you can improve the security, reliability, performance and deployment techniques of existing solutions. So what is involved with this learning path? The learning path has been curated in such a way that for each domain covered, there's a number of technical courses and hands-on labs which will provide you with all the information you need to become prepared to master each domain control point discussed. As you progress through the learning path, you'll begin by looking at a number of courses and labs that relate to storage architectures across AWS and how they differ from each other and when to use them. This is then followed in a similar fashion, but with compute and networking infrastructure, looking at the compute services, network architecture and design and implementation. You will then be guided through content that relates to decoupled architectures and how they operate and the services included to help you implement them. After that, we dive into the world of AWS security, covering everything from access control to application security. Following the security section, you will then learn about AWS migration and the different strategies and tools used before looking at application deployment management using a number of different services and techniques. The learning path will then end covering content relating to cost optimization. This is one of the two professional level certifications available with AWS and it's guided to those who already have experience with AWS and ideally have already passed the AWS Solutions Architect Associate exam. Now we have a clear understanding of what is required, let's get started with the training.